Welcome everybody. My name is Carlos Montesinos. I'm a research scientist with Enter Labs, and today we're going to walk you through setting up your Edison for the first time. In the box, you should get an Edison board, like this one, as well as an expansion board, in this case, an Arduino expansion board. You will need a 12-volt power supply, as well as a micro USB cable to program the device. We're going to walk you through downloading and installing the drivers, installing and flashing the Linux image, as well as downloading and setting up the Arduino IDE. Finally, we're going to walk you through programming your device for the first time. The first thing you need to do is get the latest of everything, including the Arduino IDE, the CDM drivers, as well as the Intel Edison drivers for your computer. Now that we have downloaded the drivers, let's start with the CDM driver. The CDM driver is going to help you communicate serially to your device. So let's extract. The next. Just going to finish. And you should be set. Now, the next driver we're going to set up is Intel Edison drivers. Just hit agree. And you should be set. Now we're moving on to the hardware. Plug in your Edison board to your expansion board. You're going to see these two little screws out here, which are going to help you guide your board. Use them and guide your board towards the pin connector and snap in. The next step, you want to power it up. So you're going to use the 12 volt power supply and you're going to plug it into the black connector. Now, use your micro USB cable and use the USB closest to the power. As soon as you plug in your Edison board, you should see it come up under your computer as an external drive. As you can see, it's empty. You're going to see a zip file just like this one. And what we'll do is we'll unzip it and move it into our Edison board. Extract, select your Edison board, and unzip. This process could take a couple of minutes, so be patient. After downloading the image into your Edison board, we need to run a couple of commands to flash the image into your board. To do this, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download PuTTY, install it, and then we're going to set it up to access the Linux side of the Edison board. To run the command, we'll use the other USB port. So just go ahead and swap your USB cable. Go ahead and run PuTTY. We're going to configure it as a serial interface. In this case, you once again have to go to the device manager and take a note of the COM port that has been assigned to the other USB connector. In this case, COM37. Type in COM37, set up the speed to 115200, and hit open. From here, to log in, just type root and type reboot OTA and hit enter. This should only take a couple of minutes. When you see Edison log in, you're done. Now that, that image is flashed onto your device, go ahead and close PuTTY and connect your USB connector again back to the port close to the power. From here, start the Arduino ID. Go to Tools. Make sure your board is the Edison board. On the ports, select COM36 in my case. Again, remember, you can go to Device Manager and take a note of which port has been assigned to your board. Let's go to File. Example, basics, blink. Go ahead and upload and run. And now your LED should be blinking. Congratulations, you've created your first Edison program. Please join our community, share your projects, See what others are building. Thanks for watching.